KM Coatings, a leading manufacturer of commercial grade liquid applied roof systems. Quality roof systems for professionals. Tools and equipment needed for coatings application. When installing a KM Coatings roof system, use of high quality and proper application tools will make application easier and faster. Solid plastic core roller covers and all-purpose brushes are recommended. If properly cleaned, tools used for acrylic and other water-based products can be used again the next day. Cleaning and pressure washing the roof. Surface preparation is the key to a successful coating application. All surfaces must be clean, dry, and structurally sound. Remove any debris and repair any damaged areas as needed by project conditions with appropriate roofing material. Remove any debris, trash, or soil buildup prior to cleaning. Heavily soiled areas require pre-treatment with cleaner and physical agitation with a broom or brush. We recommend using a pressure washer of 2500 to 3500 PSI and a 30 degree cleaning tip. Hold the spray wand 18 to 24 inches above the roof surface. With a sweeping motion, pressure wash all roof surfaces to be coated. Push wash water towards drains or other outlets. Take care to not direct pressure washer under seams or into voids or repairs in the roof surface. Allow surfaces to dry. Physically inspect the surface to confirm that it is clean and free of any residue. Additional pressure washing may be required. Allow roof surfaces to dry completely prior to applying any coating system products. Repairing and reinforcing details. Apply a KM reinforcing mesh with mastic to all repaired areas, penetrations, curbs, and rooftop equipment. For a typical three gallons per square application, apply a KM base coat in area to be repaired at the rate of 24 wet mills. Immediately embed reinforcing mesh into wet coating. Completely saturate reinforcing mesh with an additional coating at the rate of 24 to 30 wet mills. Field adhesion test. Following repair and reinforcing, be sure to test your roof surface for primer requirements with a field adhesion test. It is recommended to test a primer and an elastomeric roof coating side by side on the roof surface to be coated. Before beginning the field adhesion test, clean area to be tested. Apply appropriate KM primer if needed and allow the primer to dry. In this simple field test, the desired coating is applied to the substrate, followed by a strip of polyester and a second coat to saturate the fabric. The strip of mesh should be approximately 2 inches wide and 6 inches long. When applying the mesh, make sure to leave 2 inches uncoated to pull after product application and cure. We recommend a minimum dry time of 24 hours before the polyester strip is pulled. If the coating comes off the substrate clean, adhesive failure occurred and a primer may be required. If coating is left on the surface, it is possible the primer may not be required. The same test can be done with additional primers. For best results, a primer is recommended be sure to consult with KM Coatings Technical Services if you have questions regarding the field adhesion test results. Ensure all KM products are mixed properly prior to installation. Mix all products following KM Coatings published instructions. Use a heavy duty 3 quarter inch corded electric drill and paddle mixer. Mix materials from the bottom up to ensure all solids are evenly blended. It is very important to store and stage material out of the direct sunlight and protect from freezing temperature. Addressing inside corner details. Following this technique closely will enable you to execute a highly professional approach to these types of typical flashing conditions. Cutting fabric to prepare for detail flashings can be done on the roof or in advance. Cut the flashing fabric to manageable pieces. 12 inch piece of fabric is recommended. To begin, cut a triangle out of the bottom center of the fabric three to four inches tall and approximately one inch wide at the base. Position fabric as close to the center as possible so that when bent, the fabric will lay flat. Fold the fabric counterclockwise using the peak of the fabric as the center axis and when ready, unfold it into an inside corner. After the area is properly cleaned, apply a generous coat of KM base coat, making sure to cover enough area so that reinforcing polyester fabric can be properly embedded into the wet base coat. Use the pre-cut 12 by 12 inch fabric and fold to fit the corner. Once fabric is adhered on one side of the corner, let fabric unfold and adhere to the opposite side. Use your hands and brush to secure the fabric. Apply an additional coat where fabric overlaps. Note that fabric should always be fully embedded into the wet base coat. Once fabric is secured to the substrate, apply a saturation coat to cover the fabric from above. Addressing outside corner details. 
Following this technique closely will enable you to execute a highly professional approach to these types of typical flashing conditions. Cutting fabric to prepare for detail flashings can be done on the roof or in advance. Cut the flashing fabric to manageable pieces. KM recommends working with a 12 inch piece. The outside corner detail will require three pieces of fabric. The first two pieces will only need a single cut three to four inches deep from the bottom of the fabric. This cut will allow the fabric to open up when placed at an outside corner. Note the second part of this detail requires a smaller piece of fabric. Fold six by six inch piece of fabric in half, then cut a 45 degree diagonal, starting at one of the corners where the fabric meets. Unfold and use to cover the remainder of the outside corner. After the area is properly cleaned, apply a generous coat of a KM base coat, making sure to cover enough area so that reinforcing polyester fabric can be properly embedded into the wet base coat. Outside corner details require additional coats where fabrics overlap. Once applied, secure with hands and brush. Apply one last coat to fully saturate over the details. Once all details are completed, they can be connected using 12 inch pieces of polyester fabric. Repeat coating and fabric embedding steps. Addressing pipe penetration details. The flashing feature here can be used on any round detail, such as pipes, stands, drains, and scuppers. First step in the pipe penetration detail application is to ensure that the pre-cut fabric is long enough to fully cover and overlap the pipe by a minimum of three inches. To begin cutting, fold the fabric evenly at approximately one inch in width. Next, make two individual cuts on both sides of folded fabric. These cuts should be between three to four inches long. When flashing penetrations, you will also need to install a target over the finger flashing. When working on a pipe penetration, drape a piece of fabric over the pipe and trace the diameter of the penetration. With the circle drawn, fold the fabric in half, then make a series of five cuts, one vertical, two diagonal, and two horizontal. Ensure cuts are slightly larger than the diameter of the pipe to allow fabric to slide down smoothly. Once the fabric is cut, Start by applying a generous coat of a KM base coat at the horizontal to vertical transition and work your way out on and around the penetration. This transition is the most critical part of the flashing. Make sure to cover a slightly larger area than the fabric piece being used. Once pipe and the surrounding areas are saturated, start fabric application. Press the fabric at the transition point and work around the pipe. When fabric overlap is reached, apply additional coat over the fabric to secure a good bond. Use your hand and brush to assure the fabric is tight on the pipe and substrate. Then apply an additional coat to the fabric. Do not move the fabric during coating application. When previous step is completed, install target over the finger flashing to complete this detail. Apply more base coat over the fabric at the overlap location. Once the area is prepared, lay the pre-cut piece of fabric in place, securing it as tightly as possible to the penetration. Apply another coat over the entire target. Allow to dry and apply a surface coat. Field fabric application when required. Align the KM polyester fabric in the desired direction. Mark the outside perimeter of the fabric with the base coat, extending approximately one inch outside the width of the fabric. Apply the base coat in the area between the marked perimeter and out from the fabric. Make sure not to extend too far from the KM polyester fabric as the coating can quickly skin over during hot days. Roll the fabric into the base coat and immediately saturate the KM polyester fabric from above using the same base coat material. Continue this process until the entire roof is encapsulated. All fabric overlaps should be a minimum of three inches. The 40 inch fabric has a red line three inches from the edge indicating where the overlap should be. Using the right spray equipment, hose, and spray gun for roof coatings application. Use airless sprayer equipment with a minimum capability of three quarter gallons per minute in volume and maximum operating pressure of 3,300 PSI. Contact your KM Coatings representative for specific recommendations. Follow the equipment manufacturer's recommendations for maintenance and proper operation of all airless sprayer equipment. Prime the pump with either water for acrylic-based products or solvent when using silicone products. Once clean water or solvent has cycled through a pump several times, transfer siphon stinger to the product being applied and cycle through the machine a few times. Prime the airless hose by trigging gun into an empty five gallon container. Install proper size tip and spray nozzle. Keep the spray nozzle 12 to 18 inches above the surface and spray product evenly at the specified wet film thickness. Use a smooth, even, horizontal stroke across your body. Periodically check the application thickness using a wet film gauge, in this case, 24 wet mils. 
addressing metal seam flashing details. After the area is properly cleaned, apply two coats of KM1217 Premium SEBS Thermoplastic Sealant at vertical seam at a minimum of two inches on each side at a rate of three gallons per square at 24 mils for each coat. Apply an additional dab of product over screw heads for complete encapsulation. Apply two coats of KM1217 Premium SEBS Thermoplastic Sealant at horizontal seam at a minimum of two inches on each side at a rate of three gallons per square at 24 mils for each coat. Allow KM1217 Premium SEBS Thermoplastic Sealant to cure prior to elastomeric roof coating application. KM Roof Grade Application. KM Roof Grade is a water repellent, fiber reinforced skim mortar designed to create auxiliary slope over a variety of substrates, such as modified bitumen, built up roofs, concrete roofs, plywood, and single ply roof systems. To begin application, Pour 1.2 to 1.3 gallons of water into a clean bucket and slowly add 50 pounds of KM roof grade. Mix for approximately three minutes with a low speed mixer and paddle for a lump free homogeneous consistency. Do not mix manually. Using a pointed trowel or screed board, evenly spread material over the repair section of the roof. Allow KM roof grade to dry for 48 hours prior to applying coating over the surface or allowing foot traffic. If the surface of the repair is not going to be coated, apply granules over the surface area immediately after KM roof grade application. For more information on proper KM coatings installation, contact your KM coatings roof expert.